Hey peeps, Jess here, and today we're taking on, give me a minute. Oh gosh, you're great. Did I get it? Nope. Oh gosh, you're great. This is a new to me subscription box. I just found out about it from Tubby Eats. So thank you Tubby Eats for mentioning this lovely, awesome box. And besides being hefty, what's unique about it is that you get to pick your first item. They have like three chocolates or sweets you can try out and then everything else is a mystery. This is the December box. It just arrived like a week ago. I'm behind on filming. So at least you get to check it out and see what you think. Also, just as a heads up, because it's maybe a limited time offer, they've been offering like a one free box or 50% off your first box. So get on that. I'm not affiliate, but sales are sales. Let's open it. <laughs> Distraction aside, we've got this really cute little scene in here, but it's like Christmas in a shopping center in Japan. It's very cute. They clearly want you to color it and then what fell out. What did fall out? So we have some corrections here, which actually are pretty helpful. Oh, this is also durable. They've got a stay strong, stay positive. We're in this together, little thing with a mask. Wear your masks. More coupons. We have an $8 off their previous box. Very nice. I do like buying past boxes from brands, so I may take them up on this depending what's in the box. And last but not least, we have the info on the crate with the same illustration that's on the box. <laughs> Everything in here is in this red tissue. Get this all the way open. We got green. They are really going for it. Christmas is a very secular holiday in Japan and I get that, but it, it's very Christmas. You'd better like the Christmas. Whoa. Doritos up top is not what I was expecting. I'm going to put it to the side because starting with flaming Hot Doritos is the worst idea. <gasps> Tohatos in here. Okay. Um, first we're eating these. These are Tohato Karma Corn and they're adorable. They're really hard to explain because they don't really taste like caramel and they look like cheesy poofs, but they're tasty. And because it's Japan, this is all set up as a little gift. Like you even have a little for me to you set up here if you really wanted to give someone caramel cheesy poofs. They're not actually cheesy, just you'll see. What I'm already getting the impression of is that they're doing more of the conventional desserts and snacks of Japan, which are known as dagashi, which is not a bad thing. These snacks are hard to get stateside, even in Seattle. Like, Tohato is not no Ajimaya, as far as I know. I've only gotten it from boxes like this. That took an embarrassingly long time to open. Smells of caramel and sugar. Here we go. So now you can understand what I mean. So they're kind of a baked corn snack. This one looks deceptively shrimp-like, but it, it's corn. And they have a caramel sugary coating. And I find them very snacky. Cheers. It's like eating really sweet Saturday morning kid cereal. So first you have just a hint of a crunch, then it melts into this caramel sweetness with a hint of coconut. There's kind of coconutiness to the caramel and it is very sweet. So you'd better be in the mood for some sugar reaction. It is sweet, but it's tasty. I know I heard liquid in there. So this is Fanta. I haven't had Fanta in a long time. I was really, really into Fanta when I was in Belize of all things. That happened apparently when I was a kid. And this is their premier peach. I looked in the catalog because I was kind of curious if I should drink it at room temperature. And all they mentioned is that it does have peach juice in it. I'll drink it room temp. I can be a rebel. Oh wow, that that was something. <laughs> you all missed the fizz coming off. Now my hand smells of peach gummies. Cheers. Not too shabby. So it's light carbonation. It reminds me a lot of the grown-up sodas on the market. Still kind of tastes like peach gummy candies, but with a little bit of a natural peach flavor. And I am actually quite here for this. This is tasty. Definitely on the sweet side though. Next, we have the Country Ma'am Royal with ripped apple. So it looks like it's some kind of an apple cookie. I'm excited to try that. That being said, these bags are really hard to open. So inside, they're in little wrappers, which again is nice for sharing. I wish there was less plastic involved in this, but I also get for like splitting this up to share with friends. This is nice. Also, I love to have a little apple in the back. I wish my Japanese was better so I could translate, but it's cute. It's a soft little cookie from the look of it. It smells in here exactly like the Kasugai gummies did. The Kasugai apple gummy has that same like cooked apple juice sweet scent going on, which I'm here for. It's a good scent. Cheers. Hmm. So it is very sweet. Like the apple is definitely cooked down and it kind of tastes like eating slightly crunchier versions of a Kasugai gummy, but it's got this lovely little bit of crunch to the outside, a little bit of crispness, and then a very soft, almost melting interior. I'm not here for how sweet it is. Like I might dip these in chocolate, but as a cookie experience goes, this is actually pretty nice. Next, we have the potato chips in luxury chocolate. I feel like luxury chocolate in dagashi is not very high quality chocolate. It could be like a thicker chocolate or maybe a slightly nicer chocolate, but it's often not the greatest chocolate. It, it tries. But I do quite like potato chips and dark chocolate together. I think they're quite tasty. 
I actually quite like this balance. I like that it's a potato chip with stripes of chocolate. It kind of looks like a Keebler fudge cookie, but it also means they might be using a nicer, darker chocolate. So I could balance better. Also, it's got kind of a dusting of cocoa from being in the box, maybe. And, and it looks really nice. Cheers. So it's a very thin, crunchy potato chip with a very light afternoon chocolate that gets a little bit deeper than you might think. So it's deeper than a pokey chocolate, but still pretty sweet. Because there's not very much chocolate, you kind of get potato and chocolate notes and they work, but they aren't working together as much as I would like, but it's still a really pleasant snack. Like, don't get me wrong, this is going to be finished. The potato is pretty nicely sweet, not super salty. I just wish the chocolate was a little bit more intense. I could see this being really, really hearty and said it's a very delicate potato chocolate experience. Really good crunch though. Oh, cute. Okay, I'm not doing this on camera because these take a while. If you haven't seen these before, these are DIY little candy kits. And this one has you making your own little ice cream cones. It's very cute. Let me know in the comments if you'd like me to take this apart. They're quite fun. It's just that this is a five minute video minimum on its own. But I'm excited to have this extra treat for when I'm done with everything else. Like it feels like a treat on top of a treat. So this was my add-on that I chose myself. It's the Look Sapphire Chocolate. I had to look it up because there was really not a lot of information on the website. And as far as I could tell, it's a butterfly pea flower chocolate. So I'm pretty excited about that. So inside we have these little treats. It does feel very fancy and it's little blue wrapper here with little diamonds and various cuts. And oh dang, this is a nice color. Wow, it smells like Muscat crepe. Like the same smell of Kasuga yummies here in chocolate form. Well. Cheers. So it kind of tastes like muscat gummy plus that bubble gummy note and then white chocolate, like a cocoa butter sweetness at the end. I'm not feeling it personally. It's too sweet and very bubble gum noted at the end. I love the idea of this though. And so I'd like to see more of it just because that note in chocolate is so unique. I know of bubble gum chocolate, but not this kind of grape scentedness. So maybe I'll find a better version because this is not for me. So next we have the Pokemon Christmas Pack Chocolate, which is stinking cute. We got Pikachu with that Christmas wreath and Eevee. And also we're gonna have maybe Eevee Pikachu-y shaped chocolate biscuits. Okay. Oh, they're so cute. So it's kind of Eevee-ish shaped more than Pikachu, but you could argue that it's a badly baked Pikachu. It's cute. It smells like cocoa. Cheers. <laughs> so that is a satisfying crunch. The problem is that it's another one of the corn coconutty things like the tohato, but with cocoa. And so the corn, the weird coconut oily note and the cocoa are all fighting with each other and no one's winning. No, the corn's winning and I'm not here for that. If it had more cocoa, I think it would work. The crunch is really good. Tastes a lot like cereal. I wonder how this would go in milk. All right, next we have a wheat snack, which is actually fugashi. So it's a dried wheat gluten coated with muscovado and is a traditional snack. Very cool. Oh, whoa. I'm gonna say it right now, this is not the most appealing looking thing. It's a brown steak that looks almost burnt. It's very lightweight, so that's neat. It's gonna be a very crispy thing again, but it just smells of burnt sugar. <laughs> Cheers. So it's very airy on the inside and it's got a pretty thick layer of the burnt sugar on the outside. I am not liking this. The sugar is too burnt, so I'm not getting enough complexity of flavor, just kind of a burntness and it's not crunchy or melting enough to be what I want to snack on. Like the Pokemon snacks are more satisfying than this. I like the idea of it though. Like this is a really cool kind of portable sugar snack, but it's not, it's not what I want to eat. That's okay. We tried some things today. <gasps> okay, 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 okay. So I was upset because this wasn't at Wajimaya this year. I couldn't find it. And my spouse is off camera. I'm hoping that we don't hear squeaks too high. Winter Cocoa Pokey. Uh, okay, so this has a this has a real name. <laughs> this is Melty Pokey in winter. It's a winter seasonal. It's kind of annoying to get because a Wajimaya locally doesn't always have it, but it's a double thick layer of the chocolate with a cocoa coating. And so I was very upset when it hasn't been on Instacart at all, so I couldn't get it in this winter. And now it's here. It's a very, very, it's, yeah, it's one of the house favorites. Also it comes in two bags because they're giant. I don't know if you can see much because there's so much in the background, but this is an extra thick layer of chocolate. And you kind of see all the cocoa, that's why it's all dusty. Cheers. The chocolate is slightly soft. You get the nice crispness from the biscuit and a little bit of darkness from the cocoa. 
brings it all together is a more refined pokey for a more civilized age. As I want to sit here and drink peach soda. Seriously, this is one of my favorite pokey on the market in the US. Highly worth getting if you can find it. What is this? I have no clue what this is. Oh, okay, this is actually really sweet. There's just three single use masks in here because they care. All right, let's take on the Flaming Hot Cheetos and then I'm gonna blitz through the end because there's a lot of small things at this point and they're just getting smaller and there's like 10 of them left and I wanna have this video be under 30 minutes. I don't really like spicy chips, so we'll see how this goes. It smells very cheesy, like artificial nacho cheese. I'm not really smelling heat, actually. Just weirding me out. It's a fairly neon chip, though not as neon as the American chips can get. Cheers. Oh, hi. <coughs> Ow. It went up my nose. Hi. <laughs> most of the spicy things on the market. It's kind of a really sharp and short heat. And they went up my nose really early, so that's why I'm actually in real pain. I've had spicier, but that would just like, boom. There's kind of cheese, there's, there's other things happening, but I'm so distracted by the spice up my nose. I, ay ay ay, that was a thing. All right, lightning round. Pikachu gummies, great flavor. This is the forest of fruits thing that was in the catalog. It's got like little mochi and there's kind of a Monica like wafer cracker and a toothpick. So I guess you just skewer and eat. Gum, great flavor. Little cute chocolate Santa thing. Little chocolate thing, maybe got strawberry flavor. Teeniest tiniest grape gummy, Kirby gum. Some kind of a Santa marshmallow. It's some kind of a corn chocolate covered thing. And a wafer cookie. So all of this still to go. So favorites, Fanta Peach. I really liked how this was a slightly refined gummy peach soda. This is delightful and I'm gonna be chugging it while editing. Would highly recommend getting it if you like that kind of gummy candy flavor. And the Winter Pokey. I get these every year. I'm always glad to get them and it was making me really sad that I couldn't pick them up in Instacart. So yay, I have them. If you like that kind of slightly darker pokey flavor, a little bit softer chocolate, this is the one for you. Least favorites, totally ignoring the Flaming Hot Cheetos because we just saw how that went, this treat. The idea of this stick is very much up my alley. I love burnt sugar notes. I love different textures. Just it's not the right combination of texture and burnt sugar for me. But I feel like if I got this made traditionally, I might really, really like it. So my thoughts. This is an interesting one in that some of the treats are things that you would find in the US, whether the Flaming Hot Cheetos would have an American counterpart or the Pokey, which is one that I pick up basically every year. On the other hand, there's a lot of stuff here that you don't see stateside, like the look, I have seen this brand in a Maya, but not this particular flavor. Or the Tohato and the Apple Cookie, I have not seen those locally. And the Peach Fanta, that was really, really good, and I have not seen that stateside. On the other hand, this is a $35 box. I feel like it really boils down to how much of these do you really want, and how much of this stuff can you get locally. I mean, at the price I paid, the sale value of $17.50, this is a screaming deal. The Pokey alone is usually about six bucks in Awajimaya. So for me, this is this is great. I get to try a font I haven't had before. I'm having a good time. But would I pay the full $35 for this? That's iffy. I think I'd wanna have the ability to buy either past boxes, like the coupon is a great deal, or have more information of what's coming because I'd want the special item to be of enough value to make the items worth getting. And also, I really like that this is a pretty shareable box. Either a lot of things are in fairly big bags, like the Tohato and the Pokemon even, or they're in individual wrappers, which is great for sharing. And so I do like that, that if you have a family, you could split this up and have a really good little party. This, but this was fun. I had a good time with it. I'm glad I tried them. I'm even glad I tried the Flamin' Hot Cheetos as spicy as they were. As always, it's super great hanging out with you. If you'd love some more subscription box goodness, do I have the video for you? And with that, I will see you next time. Later. So my spouse has been off screen this whole time because we're bored today apparently. <laughs> Normally she's not here. So she had to watch the whole thing go down with the spicy chip. And I was like, are you all right? No, well, yeah, but yeah, spicy. My face went very red. <laughs>